Can I help you? Wait a moment. You're Harry Potter. Let me guess. You're looking for platform nine and three quarters? Yes. Do you know where it is? I do, in fact. Just run straight ahead at the barrier between platforms nine and ten. Go ahead. Close your eyes if you're nervous. So, no secret incantation or wand waving required? Sounds simple enough. All that's required is just a little courage. I can do that. Don't be scared. You'll be fine. And you're... We've met, right? It's nice to see you again. <laughs> this was supposed to be a surprise, but... Professor McGonagall asked me to give a guest lecture in Defense Against the Dark Arts today. There's still a bit of time left before my first class, so I thought I'd walk around and reminisce a bit. Mind if I join you? I'd love to hear some of your old stories. Why not? Some company might be nice. Ah, oh, I remember the night of my sorting ceremony like it was yesterday. I was so nervous I thought I was going to be s- But you saved Hogwarts. You defeated Voldemort. It's hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. Believe me, I get scared just as much as the next person. And at that moment, I was terrified. What if no house wanted me? What if there'd been a mistake and I wasn't supposed to be at Hogwarts at all? Of course, my fears were unfounded. Hogwarts turned out to be the home I'd never really had, and my house became like a family to me. Despite everything you went through, you're still able to look back on your Hogwarts years fondly. I, I hope I'll be able to do the same one day. Just make the most of every moment, and you will. This is going to sound odd, but... Would you mind if we took a picture? It's not every day one runs into Harry Potter. Sure, go ahead. I think I'll head to the Quidditch pitch next, if you care to join me. You played Seeker for Gryffindor when you were at Hogwarts, didn't you, Mr. Potter? That's right. I'll never forget my first match. I wasn't aware of it at the bucking and out of control. It took everything I had just to stay on. Oh no. What a way to kick off your Quidditch career, eh? You said it. I take it Gryffindor lost then? Actually, I ended up catching the snitch with my mouth and winning us the match. You're kidding. In your mouth? What are the odds? Just goes to show that you should never give up. Looks like I have time to visit one last spot before class starts. What do you say we head for the... Is everything all right, Mr. Potter? You look a bit down. It's nothing. Just thinking to myself how much that owl looks like Hedwig. Hedwig? My snowy owl. Hagrid gifted her to me for my 11th birthday. I used to bring her out here to stretch her wings all the time. That's funny. Hagrid bought me an owl too. Hasn't changed one bit, has he? Hagrid didn't know it at the time, but he gave me my first and best birthday present. It sounds like you care a lot about Hedwig. I do. She was my first friend. I miss her dearly. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to her? She sacrificed herself to save me from a killing curse. I'm so sorry. 
She seems like a special owl. She was. You'll make a lot of friends, feathered and otherwise, during your time at Hogwarts. Always cherish them. I will. Well, I should probably start preparing for my lecture. Thank you for keeping me company. I've enjoyed reminiscing about old memories, and making new ones, too.